What's up guys? Seal Liquid here. Back with another video. So now that Cool Walk's being released to the public and it's not just all um, beta testers, I figure I'd do a little comparison on Cool Walk versus CarPlay. The latest CarPlay and the latest Android Auto. And see what the similarities are. Now this isn't a comparison for me to decide if one's better than the other, this is just me looking at the similarities and differences between the two. Uh, so let's jump right into CarPlay here at the bottom. Obviously you have the Apple look to everything. The icons and the colors are nice and sharp and popping out at you. And then when you jump into the apps up here, you see that you can still keep your maps open over here on the right while you scroll through your apps which is nice if you happen to be navigating and you want to you know choose another app you can still have your map open I mean I don't know how handy that comes in I haven't tried it but it's a little different than down here now my maps not showing up on the CarPlay simply because I haven't I don't have the uh, data connected on my iPhone I had to kind of weirdly jerry-rigged this to get both to run at the same time because I only have one head unit in my car and so I had to run one on the head unit and run one on the um, my Android tablet so that's what you see here um, but anyway yeah it's so you have basically the same looks where they're separated out uh, they have a little third one here on the CarPlay that shows you helps you navigate or you can use your voice say a command okay too many things going on at once but up here at the top you can just say hey Google and obviously you can use it that way so you don't have to press the button I haven't tried hey Siri okay so I guess hey Siri works too but so those two are the same you just you have Siri and one has uh, Google uh, but let's jump back into the apps obviously Android has a lot more uh, flexibility when it comes to the apps you can use with Android Auto um, Apple is kind of locked down their ecosystem to just a few specific like you can use Waze on Android Auto you can use Sigic. I think that's how you pronounce that one and obviously you can use Google Maps uh, you you have your messages, Google News, phone app, you know, books, which I'm not sure why that was on there. Who's reading a book while you're driving, but it's on there. Well, I guess that's more for um, audio books. I guess you wouldn't be reading books, duh. But uh, anyway, that's on there. Um, you know, just usual stuff. There's others you can download. These are just the main ones I use. Spotify, you know, have Teams. You know, I get messages from work, uh, your weather, YouTube music is, I flip between YouTube music and uh, Spotify. Down here on CarPlay, see so you also have your phone, messages, maps. I um, don't know what the, well I guess now playing is Apple Music. I don't use that, I use YouTube music. so I. I've never signed up for that, but I'm assuming that's what now playing is. Um, and you can use Google Maps on here. So those, there may be others, but those are the only two that I, well now I've gotten out of everything. I'm blowing this video. Alright, now we're back in here. Alright, so yeah, you have Google Maps, which... I'm assuming that and Apple's Maps are the two that are allowed on here besides any other third parties. Waze is obviously part of Google so that one works as well. But I typically only use Google Maps whether I'm on CarPlay or on Android Auto. Uh, Teams again is available on CarPlay. YouTube Music. I don't know why I have Zoom on here. I'm not doing a Zoom meeting from my car but 
I actually haven't even tried that, so I don't even know if that works or not. But yeah, that's like I said, the uh, Android Auto has um, quite a bit more of flexibility when it comes to apps that'll run on it. They're not quite as stringent. I mean, that's just a recent thing too, because they used to be um, locked down pretty good, just like Apple CarPlay is. Uh, we jump into the settings on both. And where's my settings here? There we go. Settings. Well, that is not settings. There we go. Alright, so you can see there's probably about the same amount of settings on both, but here in CarPlay at the bottom we have driving focus, which I'm assuming just silences alerts and notifications incoming calls when will not be silenced while using carplay um, announce messages so you don't have to try to read your text when they come in it'll just read them to you uh, you can change appearance automatic always dark i keep mine on always dark uh, always show dark maps um, i don't know why i don't have that turned on but um, wallpapers have a couple to choose from here uh, Siri and suggestions uh, we know what all that is and then show album art for looks like it's for uh, Apple music but uh, it also does it for um, YouTube music but that's built into YouTube music uh, but I will say the album art for um, Apple music seems to look a lot better for like the one or two times I used it when I first got my iPhone and was trying out CarPlay it was like a trial 7 day or 14 day thing the album art was a lot better on Apple Play than it is on YouTube Music hopefully YouTube will fix that at some point or Google will so up here in the settings for um, Android Auto uh, you have it show conversations for notifications, show first line of conversations, play conversation chime, um, suggestion cards, start Android Auto automatically, start music automatically, and you also have wallpapers here to choose from. Um, then day night mode for maps which is a uh, night for that and see more in the phone app well I'm not gonna switch over to that but you get the idea they're both uh, pretty similar some customizations and you know changing dark and light mode nothing special about either one uh, we jump back into apps there's really not any I don't want to say there's not any difference. There's really not much to talk about when it comes to the difference between the two other than Android Auto has a few more apps. So if you are interested in that for your everyday commute, there's certain apps you need. It may be available on Android Auto, where it's probably not going to be available on um, CarPlay. But then again, I don't know. I haven't tested every app on both to see if they work. But just for my uh, limited testing, I found a lot more apps that I use on Android Auto than I have on CarPlay. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot else to compare them to. I mean, obviously the looks, they're similar now that CoolWalk gives you the two separate panels here. There's actually a third panel that drops down. If I was to get a message, it would show up up here at the top on the right side. So you'd have three different panels, but you know, I can't show you that right now. I don't really have any messages or anybody texting me. Um, as far as the maps, they're pretty much the same. I, mean, I can't show too much of this. But I can click on this side and bring this over here and then put the maps over to the right. Um, and then you can also click back on this. And I honestly can't remember 
how to switch it to full screen for the map so the map goes all the way across. I thought there was an option down here to do that, but maybe not. Anyway, I know on this, on my actual head unit, I could do that if I click on the map. It does allow it to go and take up the whole space. Uh, it could just be because I'm using it on this tablet and it just, it's just not allowing it to do it. It may have to be a certain size screen, not sure about that. Um, as far as the maps here, you can obviously click on the maps down on CarPlay and it fills the screen. And you could go back, same with the music. Um, the top there is just for navigating, it doesn't do anything. Uh, you get your battery status on both for your phone and your signal strength and your clock so I mean the layouts pretty much the same <laughs> I, now that I'm seeing them you know side by side for the first time like you have your little squares down here that take you to your apps on both and both have your voice buttons for talking to the uh, assistants so I mean there's really no difference honestly um, if you have a iPhone I mean you're not really missing anything unless there's some app that doesn't work on CarPlay that does work on Android and vice versa but I mean, for the most part you're not missing anything at this point both companies are pretty much just borrowing from each other it just depends on when one releases it one may release it release something new this year the next one will copy it next year or the year after after they've made their put their spin on it but at some point both companies are just copying each other I don't know why anyone gets mad they have all these you know Apple versus Android arguments in forums like they're just copying each other there, there's nothing to argue about <laughs> anything that's on one phone if it's not already on the other it will be at some point like Android will make something and then Apple will come out with it and call it some Apple name or Apple will come out with something and Android will come out with a version of it and call it its own name so I mean it doesn't really matter if you're running um, CarPlay or running Android Auto you're good to go um, I will say the cool walk is definitely a good upgrade from the uh, old Android Auto look for people who use that I'm sure you are like me and you're happy to see it finally get an upgrade in visuals because it was looking like really really dated uh, for the people who haven't gotten it yet um, yeah that's that's what you're looking forward to um, I don't know what else to show with them so this video has already gone longer than it should have so I will talk to y'all later peace